Hey y'all, this is our year-end video and nothing makes us happier than giving you a behind the scenes look on what in the world's going on. So if you're watching this video thinking I can't wait to hear about insurance recruiting stuff, that's not this video. Take a peek. The highlight of 2023 was finally turning 40. And I know for a lot of people that maybe would be the opposite, but I was once told, I believe it was on my 18th birthday or 17th birthday, uh, that I was 18 going on 40, uh, which is probably true. I've been the oldest, maybe young person for a long time. So finally getting there and getting to be officially old was pretty cool. I am very glad that he is in the same decade as I am now. He often kids me how old I am. Uh, I am almost closer in age to his father than I am to him. And so he's always razzing me. So for a short period of time here, uh, we'll be in the same decade, practically the same age. The highlight of my year was getting engaged. And so next year I am looking forward to actually getting married and going on my honeymoon and taking a well-deserved break after planning a wedding. Uh, she talked about different apps and things she was using gosh I don't even know maybe two years ago and being the old not cool guy I asked to see and she handed me her phone totally trustingly uh, gave me permission to even swipe people off the screens but I screwed that up and swiped the wrong way not realizing uh, maybe the errors I was making so once she got herself up off the floor from being mortified she took the phone away and is probably very happy not to be in that world anymore. The highlight of our 2023 was we bought a new house and we found out that we were expecting our second child. I'm super happy and excited for Jordan that she bought a house and is expecting her second baby. I'm more excited that it's her and not me and that she's the one that will be getting no sleep and will be eyeballs deep in dirty diapers next year. The highlight to my 2023 was that we went overseas for the first time. We went to Barcelona and Paris and just short and simply stated it was awesome. I am very glad that Mary enjoyed her trip to Europe. It was well deserved and I know she had a wonderful time. I am even more glad that she did not bring any bed bugs back with her she would never have been allowed in this office again. The highlight of my 2023 was completing my first marathon. Um, and in 2024, I'm looking forward to figuring out what my next challenge will be. Wait, Amy ran a marathon? Of course she did. She's like a superhuman. Well, I'm over here thinking about what my next snack is gonna be. 2023 was a pretty epic year, but I would have to say the highlight was a family trip to Maui. My wife and I had honeymooned there uh, almost a quarter of a century ago and always wanted to take our kids there. We were finally able to pull it off and we took them there for a week this summer and hit all of the same places we did. There was some nostalgia, there were some new places, there were rainbows, uh, snorkeling about everything you could imagine. It was a wonderful time. I am thrilled that Chris did not drown on his trip to Maui with the sea turtles. Listen, we have a great executive life insurance policy here, but I really don't want to test cashing that in. So he's back in one piece. Thank heavens. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. We'll see you in 2024.